A philosophical dissertation. What's up, old horse? Your ears you prick, and your eager eyeballs glisten. Tis the wild dog's note in the tea tree thick, by the river to which you listen. With head erect and tail flung out, for a gallop you seem to beg, but I feel the qualm of a chilling doubt as I glance at your favourite leg. Let the dingo rest, tis all for the best. In this world there's room enough for him and you and me and the rest. And the country is awful rough. We've had our gallop in days of yore, now down the hill we must run. Yet at times we long for one gallop more, although it were only one. Arcades, Ambo, duffers both, in our best of days, alas. I tell the truth, though I tell it loath, tis time we were gone to grass. The young leaves shoot, the sear leaves fall, the old gives way to the new. While the preacher cries, tis vanity all, and a vexation of spirit too. Now over my head the vapours curl from the bowl of soothing clay. In the misty forms that eddy and whirl, my thoughts are flitting away. Yes, the preacher's right, tis vanity all. But the sweeping rebuke he showers on vanity's all may heaviest fall, on vanity's worse than ours. We have no wish to exaggerate the worth of sports we prize. Some toil for their church and some for their state, and some for their merchandise. Some traffic and trade in the city's mart, some travel by land and sea. Some follow science, some cleave to art, and some to scandal and tea. And some for their country and their queen would fight, if the chance they had. Good sooth, were a sorry world, I ween, if we all went galloping mad. Yet if once we efface the joys of the chase, and from the land outroot the stud, Goodbye to the Anglo-Saxon race, farewell to the Norman blood. Two things stand like stone, kindness in another's trouble, courage in your own.